Hi there folks, it's me again with um, the uh, enthralling part two of Lucky Strike, which might be one of the most boring videos even I have ever uploaded to YouTube. Um, let me get it kicked off and remind those of you who uh, waited through the first uh, part of the video that uh, this one has been doctored so that it's extremely choosy about what it gives you on the reels. And to avoid um, a rather death-defying experience, I've sped up the reel spinning by a factor of 30. Everything else should be roughly uh, the same in terms of speed. It's just anything where the reels move. It's been really well speeded up. So this is like a sort of inverse video of the uh, previous ones because the normal um, videos of this that I put up, uh, whatever symbols come in, uh, come to mind first are the ones that it gives you, and you can see you've seen the 675% payouts or 1,090 that we got in the previous video. Yeah, obviously, uh, that's not really realistic, so. Uh, I've uh, done the opposite for this and uh, cut the percentage pairs rather than putting it up and just instead of um, subjecting everyone to uh, endless reel spinning with very little coming in and happening, I uh, just thought I'd do 100 quick credits with very fast reel spins uh, so you can see the difference. Of course, any of you who've um, chosen to download this program uh, and play it yourselves, uh, there is a section in the documentation where uh, I explain how you can make the program more challenging than it is. Uh, I'm not sure you'd want to make it this challenging, uh, but uh, it is there. There are. Um, uh, Two parameters in the code that you can change to uh, make it less um, generous and uh, the documentation tells you how to do that and the uh, results of so doing um, this is an extreme example but it does go to show if I can do this with just changing two uh, parameters Uh, you can imagine the effort that has gone into real fruit machines uh, to ensure that you don't win or that you you win enough to keep you interested while slowly removing the money from you. This one's not even making any pretense about it, is it? Look, £4 in and we haven't won a penny yet. It does seem reasonably happy to give the occasional cherry every two pound or so. Oh, here we go, five. I wonder what are the chances of getting uh, a number to give, give us something on the matrix or features board, I suppose, in this case. Of course, the real lucky strike can be really um, frustrating like this. You can go long periods um, getting the occasional cherry and then uh, it will give you a sort of three or four pound win or maybe a tenner if you're lucky. Of course, the reason for that is that uh, it's 10p play and uh, the wins are far far greater than that, so uh, it can't give them very often.
What a disaster. Well, we're getting lots of numbers that are just not adding to seven or more. And of course, it won't hold them anyway. But even if it did, it would be very unlikely to get the fourth lemon, whereas uh, uh, the original program, uh, you could hold three triple bars and uh, it's just as likely to let it come in. This one would be a little bit more discerning. Well, we're over eight pound in. We haven't won a penny. I wonder if we can get to the end with a zero percent payout. That's not going to get to the seven, is it? No. Give us something. It is possible to stop this program paying out totally. I haven't done that. I have left a few loopholes, but it hasn't found any of them so far. Oh, 40 pence. Wow. Go on, auto player. Win one more gamble. At least it will collect that. Yay! We got some money back. So, what was the percentage payout? 12%. What an absolute disaster. Well, if anyone has actually made it to the end of this video, thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, I think... Um, the lesson we can draw from this is don't gamble because the odds are always stacked against you. Uh, fruit machines don't tend to stack the odds as badly as this. Um, but I thought it was just amusing to, to show what can be done with uh, a few small tweaks to the uh, uh, code. So, uh, yes, thank you for watching if you've got this far. And uh, I shall no doubt upload a more enthralling video very soon. Thanks again. Bye bye.